This presentation provides information about virtual machine snapshots and is based on Knowledge Base Article 1015180. This information may be helpful when encountering issues such as when virtual machines are not responding or cannot start due to broken parent and child virtual disk dependencies, virtual machines are not responding or they do not start due to redo logs residing on data stores that do not have free space, snapshot creation takes too long when specifying the memory snapshot option, Snapshot delete or remove operations result in the vSphere or VMware infrastructure client timing out when backups fail while quiescing during a snapshot operation. A snapshot preserves the state and the data of the virtual machine at a specific point in time. The state includes the virtual machine's power state, whether it's powered on, off, or suspended. And the data includes all the files that make up the virtual machine. This includes disks, memory, and other devices such as virtual network interface cards. A virtual machine API provides several operations for creating and managing snapshots and snapshot chains. These operations let you create snapshots, revert to any snapshot in the chain, and remove snapshots. When creating a snapshot, there are several options that you can specify. Name, used to identify the snapshot. Description, used to describe the snapshot. Memory. If the memory flag is set to 1 or true, a dump of the internal state of the virtual machine is included in the snapshot. Memory snapshots take longer to create. Quiesce. If the quiesce flag is set to 1 or true, and the virtual machine is powered on when the snapshot is taken, VMware Tools is used to quiesce the file system in the virtual machine. When a snapshot is created, it is comprised of files with the following naming convention. A collection of .vmdk and delta.vmdk files for each virtual disk is connected to the virtual machine at the time of the snapshot. These files can be referred to as child disks, redo logs, or delta links. These child disks can later be considered parent disks for future child disks. From the original parent disk, each child constitutes a redo log, pointing back from the present state of the virtual disk one step at a time to the original. The number value may not be consistent across all child disks from the same snapshot. The file names are chosen based on file name availability. The .vmsd file is a database of the virtual machine's snapshot information and the primary source of information for the snapshot manager. The file contains line entries which define the relationships between snapshots as well as the child disks for each snapshot. These files are the memory stain of the time of the snapshot. Keep in mind that the files will be placed in the working directory by default in ESX or ESXi 3 to 4, and this behavior can be changed if desired. In ESXi 5 and later, snapshots descriptor and delta vmdk files will be stored in the same location as the virtual disks, which can be in a different directory than the working directory. Our VMware API allows VMware and third-party products to perform operations with virtual machines in their snapshots. This is a list of common operations that can be performed on virtual machines and snapshots using our API. Create Snapshot creates a new snapshot of a virtual machine. As a side effect, this updates the current snapshot. Remove Snapshot removes a snapshot and deletes any associated storage. Remove All Snapshots removes all snapshots associated with a virtual machine. Revert to Snapshot changes the execution state of a virtual machine to the state of the snapshot. Consolidate merges the hierarchy of redo logs. Here is a high-level overview of how create, remove, or revert snapshot requests are processed within the VMware environment. A request to create, remove, or revert a snapshot for a virtual machine is sent from the client to the server using the VMware API. The virtual machine forwards the request to the VMware ESX host if the snapshot includes the memory option, the ESX host writes the memory of the virtual machine to disk. Note that the virtual machine is stunned for the duration of the memory being written. The length of time of the stun cannot be pre-calculated as dependent on the performance of the disk in question and the amount of memory being written. If the snapshot includes the quiesce option, the ESX host requests the guest operating system to quiesce the disks via VMware tools. 
The ESX host makes the appropriate changes to the virtual machine snapshot database.vmsd file, and the changes are reflected in the snapshot manager of the virtual machine. The ESX host calls the function similar to the virtual disk API functions that make changes to the child disks, delta.vmdk and .vmdk files, as well as the disk chain. During a snapshot removal, if the child disks are large, the operation may take a long time. The child disk created with the snapshot is a sparse disk. Sparse disks employ the copy on write mechanism in which the virtual disk contains no data in places until copied there by a write. This optimization saves storage space. It is important to note these points regarding the space utilization of child disks. If a virtual machine is running off a snapshot, it is making changes to a child or sparse disk. The more write operations made to this disk, the larger it grows. The space requirements of the child disk are in addition to the parent disk. If a virtual machine has a 10 gig disk with a child disk, the space used will be 10 gigs plus the child disk size. Child disks have been known to grow large enough to fill an entire data store. The speed at which child disk grows is directly dependent on the amount of I.O. being done to the disk. The size of the child disk has a direct impact on the length of time it takes to delete the snapshot. Generally, when you create a snapshot for the first time, the first child disk is created from the parent disk. Successive snapshots generate new child disks from the last child disk in the chain. This relationship can change if you have multiple branches in the snapshot chain. The virtual machine is housed on the ESXi host and on the virtual machine is the virtual hard disk. Here is where the parent VMDK is held. When you create a snapshot, the first child's VMDK is created with its own data of changes that have been made. The first child reserves space on the virtual hard disk for the data. From that point, you are running on the first child snapshot. When you then make another snapshot, the second child is created with its own data of changes, and it reserves space on the first child snapshot, which reserves space on the virtual hard disk for the data. From that point, you are running on the second child snapshot. And this is generally how it works for each consecutive snapshot that you create. Caution that manually manipulating the individual child disks or any of the snapshot configuration files may compromise your disk chain. VMware does not recommend manually modifying the disk chain as it may result in data loss. For more information on snapshots, see the following articles.